I'm here with Marco Antonio Soriano, the man who is making it all possible. Thank you, Marco, for being here today. So tell me a little bit about what it is that you do and why you do this. What I do, I'm um, the CIO of a fourth generation family office. Mm -hmm. My job is to pick the right investment and preserve capital and appreciate it over time as well. And rumor has it. AI is something you've invested in. Yes, uh, AI robotics, handsome robotics with Sophia the robot, which happens to be a big celebrity around the world, was one of our investments. Hyperloop, the super speed train, and we're right now reviving a motorcycle brand that we used to have back in 1954, the fully electric vehicle approach to it. Tell me more about that. Right here, right? Yeah. So, you know, the electric vehicles are going to, by far, surpass the production of automobiles around the world. We all know this. Tesla started it out two weeks ago. He was overvaluated, you know, for $100 billion. First time an automobile company actually hits those numbers. So we're taking our old legacy brands, reviving them, but solving the same problems that the EVs have today. And a lot of it is the same. Friction, gears, feeling. There's no feeling in these cars. I love that you mentioned the term legacy. So what is it that you want your legacy and your family's legacy to be? Investing is investing in yourself, your brand, who you are, what you've done. And in our case, as a fourth generation, we're trying to maintain that linear and obviously trying to get it to the next trend of disrupted markets. So EVs, AIs, Hyperloop, all of these are examples of being part of that trend and disrupting those markets. The theme of the weekend here at the Jabboy Conference is obviously to invest in yourself. Do you have any advice on that? Best than yourself. I mean, if you've got a past, a narrative, a story to tell, people will connect with you, traditionally speaking. But what's important is you need to target those new generations. And I'm not talking about just the millennials, but Generation Z and what's coming after that. There's an issue with companies today trying to adapt and target those audiences the right way. You know, places like Jack Boy Production put you in front of family offices and other vendors that need to also understand that. Otherwise, they're just going to ride the train very, very slowly. Uh, well, thank you for the work that you do and the legacy that you're leaving. Uh, for my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.